Boris Johnson, he has said ludicrous things people can do is get off their ass. Artificial intelligence will do more and more of human thinking. They've got control of your mind. They own it. I'm not going to change what I say just because some people don't like it. The woke mentality is basically telling you to believe utter absurdities. Zelensky in Ukraine is deeply corrupt. They don't have any power. Um, the last thing I've ever said to anybody is you've got to listen to me. Why, why, why would that be? If um, if I've got something interesting to say, then people will, will see that and, and they'll do what they will with it. You know, uh, my life is very simple. Uh, I put information in front of people that they wouldn't normally hear. And then people make their own minds up what they do with it. And, uh, and so uh, that's it's always been and always will be. Well, I've just described it, really. It's to put information in front of people that they wouldn't normally hear, to ask the questions that many people are too frightened to ask or uh, to, to, um, to divert it in other things in their lives, to research and ask. Put it in front of people as best you can. And then what people do with it is entirely up to them. You know, I mean... You, you, I'm not setting out to persuade people of anything. You know, that's the old way. That's how we got into this mess. That's what's going on in the mainstream everything, every minute of every day. You're being told what to believe. And so many people believe it. And, and therefore, they get scammed and they get controlled by a few people because the few people are dictating what they think and thus how they behave and how they respond to whatever happens in the world. If you look at the dictionary definition of conspiracy, it's just two or more people conspiring together to bring about a, uh, a, a particular end, uh, usually illegal and often unpleasant. Um, and that's all a conspiracy is. So on the basis of that, the world is drowning in conspiracies. And, you know, we have laws, uh, a, a conspiracy to this, conspiracy to that. Uh, and yet, um, when you are saying that actually people in power are not telling you the truth uh, and uh, are lying to you for their own benefit, you're a conspiracy theorist. And if you've got this reflex action response, then it's immediately dismissed Oh, because it's a conspiracy theory. And what a lot of people now are starting to realize, particularly after the last few years, is that all these major conspiracy theories, as they were called, have turned out to be true. And uh, so a lot more people are looking at this stuff than were before. Well, a lot of uh, a lot of things happened around the turn of the 1990s. Uh, but basically, I started to come across information that the forces that appeared to be running the world weren't actually doing it. And so you start to investigate, you start to research. And uh, the more you uncover, the more uh, deeper, or the deeper in the rabbit hole you go, and it just goes on and on and on and on as uh, more and more comes to the surface and comes to light. You know, if if you are a, a few people and you want to control the many, you have to control the many's uh, perceptions of reality. Because there's too many people for you to physically control them all. You have to get them to, to do what you want them to do, to believe what you want them to believe, so they'll do what you want them to do. And so it's all psychological. The whole thing, the whole foundation of it is psychological. If you look at wh where does a perception come from? It comes from information received. It might be a personal experience. It might be an item on the news. It might be a Facebook post. But it's information from which people form their perceptions. So if you can control the information that people will receive, you are going to go a very, very long way in controlling their perception, thus control their behavior. And collectively, collective human behavior, that's what we call human society and the nature of it. And so what we've been seeing, and it's all been systematic, it's in my books long ago, it was coming, is the erosion of the free flow of information uh, in the public arena. Well, I mean, ask a psychopath why he's a psychopath. You know, the, 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 to, 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 on one level, there is no rational explanation for that. Um, 
a psychopath acts like a psychopath because they're a psychopath. And this network I call the global cult um, is uh, made up of psychopaths, super psychopaths controlling psychopaths and psychopaths controlling uh, moronic people who never question anything. And that's basically the dynamic that's driving the direction of the world. But where it's going has been in my books for decades, and it's going there by the, by the day, by the hour. Um, if people would only uh, look, and a lot more people are now. Of course, they're moving faster than ever. Very simple. If you want, uh, you're a few people, a few uh, networks, or one network ultimately, that want to control the mass of the people, then you have to centralize decision making. If you've got diversity of decision making where people are making decisions about communities in communities, then there's so many points of decision making uh, that you've got no chance of controlling that. No chance from the center. Yeah. So what you need to do is to centralize decision making. And uh, where um, they want this to go, it's been in my books this since the early 1990s, is eventually to a, a world government dictatorship which in the end will not be even elected people. It will be what's known as technocrats. These will be bureaucrats uh, and uh, uh, engineers, scientists, uh, all these uh, types of people, technocrats. And they will dictate what happens in the world in every community. And if people think that's, well, that's far-fetched, well, hold on a minute. Who the hell do you think runs Silicon Valley? What do you think Zuckerberg is? And... Um, Susan Wachiski at uh, YouTube and this Bryn and Page at, uh, at Google, uh, they're technocrats and they have more power than politicians already. Never mind where they want to go. And uh, so you're seeing the. I have this phrase, know the outcome and you'll see the journey. If you know where we're being taken, you can you can see the stepping stones to that happening all the time. And uh, this is why you can predict the future, because you're not actually predicting the future. People have said to me, how, how, how come you can predict, predict the future? That's not what I'm doing. What I've been doing all these years is saying this is the plan for humanity. And if, if nothing intervenes to stop it, this is what's going to happen. The idea of what I've done is to try to alert people so that it gets headed off. And it's taken the extremes of the COVID years to... Uh, awaken um, uh, 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 a sizable, a sizably greater number of people now um, who can see what's actually going on because it's been put in their face.